What excited me most about this year's winners? I, I think it's actually the diversity that, that we have a, a talented group of people, but they are all talented in their own ways. They have their different backgrounds, they have their different education, they have a very different style in doing science. And, and I think that shows that there's no one way to succeed. There's a, there's, a, there's a number of ways that you can get to the top. The biggest challenge in picking the winner is always just that we get so many great applications. And so sieving through all of those and deciding which one is really the best is a very big challenge. This prize is a lot about the writing. So the, the science will be evaluated, but the writing is very important. You can read previous winning entries and you can see what makes them different and what makes them distinctive. Who should apply for this prize? Uh, I, th I think it's um, a question that uh, everybody should ask themselves, but I think particularly if you are excited about science communication. The advice I would give to scientists thinking of entering is number one, go ahead and enter. My advice would be try to make the essay not sound like an article, but try to let your own voice filter through the essay. Just to try, because uh, if you don't try, there's zero chances to, to get something. I believe that every opportunity leads to the next opportunity. So taking this opportunity, I can maybe get new opportunities uh, for my future and then step further and further and achieve new goals. In summary, my essay reviews warmer temperatures and artificial light in cities, trick trees into thinking spring arrives earlier. My essay is about using homogenic edible tissue to fight against obesity. The history and the evolution of a transmissible cancer that has been affecting dogs for several thousand years. Challenging the assumption that the inner nuclear membrane, the membrane that encloses the genome, is metabolically silent. So what attracted me to this kind of research was a combination of an interest for genetics and evolution, although I studied computer science. The world is in an uh, epidemic of obesity and I think working on such a field would be very impactful for, the, for all, all of us. I used satellite images and compared one tree turn green in urban versus rural areas in 85 large cities in the U.S. and found both urban heat island and artificial light make trees turn green earlier. Every new discovery directs me in a new field and makes me be interested in this new field. A prize that is mostly about writing an essay it really attracted me. It's a great prize for, for a student. I hope my research can inspire others to spend more time with nature and with trees. It's not really work. This is like a full-time hobby.